Welcome back. This is still Y in the morning and we just into our second conversation from that amazing one that we've had with Ramaguko on youth and politics. Now we are talking about today's question of discussion which is about you know habits of the successful and we are asking you what is the first thing that you do in the morning when you wake up in the morning what is the first thing that you do when you wake up uh, talk to us uh, the hashtag is why in the morning at 254 channel on Facebook and Twitter talk to us and tell us what is this thing especially being a Monday Monday when you have the morning blues and everything so take your time close your eyes for a minute or two don't sleep and then think about what you do in the morning or what did you do today morning when you when you woke up so we have have been joined by amazing guests here in studio. We have Claxon Okach at my uh, father's right. Uh, we also have Ian Sisanga. Sisanga, right? Sisaga. Sisaga. Yeah. Yes. So we have Ian Sisaga and Claxon Okach to help us with this conversation. Start once and then Ian, tell us what you do, Kwanza, before to to engage into this matter. Okay. For me, actually, mm -hmm. when I wake up in the morning, first I must spread my bed. I mm -hmm. think I uh, most most tend to think that that's not a routine for boy child, which I tend to prove wrong. Oh because, my, uh -huh. because kami mi lazima ni spread. I think ni habitual too. Mm -hmm. You spread your bed, then brush your teeth, uh -huh. wash your face. If, if not, shower or so. Then do some exercise and take the day on. Okay, sawa sawa. We are getting back to you spreading your bed. Clarkson, tell us what you do. Um. I, as a Clarkson, uh, mm. uh, being brought from a um, uh, Christian religious uh, family background, uh, the first thing that I have to do, I have to give benediction to God. I have some uh, kind of prayer which will carry me throughout the day. That is the first thing that I normally do. And um, it is also making me to have the connection mm -hmm. with God. That sure, is the first really. thing. Okay. Yes. So we have. Uh, then others will now proceed from there after. After that. Yes. So with Ian, to when uh, waking up, you spread your bed first, and before you go wash your face and and everything. Uh, Klaxon, Umesama. The first thing you do is have a benediction, your time with God. So is that prayer or is that reading the Bible? What does that involve? Mm, actually, it is just like a, a short kind of prayer uh, where I do normally pray for my family. Mm -hmm. I'm a family man. I also have to pray for other things so that uh, my daily activity can now go. That is the first thing. <laughs> okay, so what other things are you praying for? <coughs> okay, you know, you know, generally, uh, you know, when you are, you are, you are praying, uh -huh. uh, you have to pray for the well-being of the family. You have to pray for the well-being of you as a person. Mm -hmm. You have also to pray for the well-being of all the activities that you have planned. Because, mm -hmm. you know, so you, you may be able to day. plan. Yes, uh -huh. you may be able to plan your things mm -hmm. as per the human being perspective point of view. Mm -hmm. But if all of them are not dedicated to the Almighty, then uh, probably they might not. So uh -huh. we assume and we hope that mm -hmm. everything that when we commit it to God, it will be successful. That is the first priority. Okay, and yes. I, I know there's a verse where you, we are told commit your plans yes. and to the Lord. So, 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 yes. so that you is, are going to check, and that works for you. Yes, Quite it has been way. working. It has been working yes. for you. So, uh, Ian, yeah. you make your bed. How yeah. does that work for you, Any being the first thing that you do? Actually, I, t I tend to think it's habitual because I just found myself spreading the bed, uh -huh. then after happened your ni you take a shower or so uh -huh. so yeah. you know, to, uh, having my discussion with Rama in the morning the yeah. discussion you had with Rama Alisa mother's a, you know a famous person who said that the first when the people who make their bed just yeah. as the, the first thing yeah. they do when they wake up they usually have their day organized any their day will highly you know, tend to be more productive than others because there's one thing that you've already accomplished. E na make sense to your routine ama kwako ni habitual to so ujui kama ina affecting siku ama ay affecting Actually, you know, early in the morning is when you start your day. That's mm. the basis. And yeah. then like any other thing, when you start even like cooking, you start with the so the the the, the taste will depend on the first move uh -huh. in, in in your cooking. 
<laughs> so gani? move ka you are you are you are putting cooking oil is the ingredients the ingredients uh-huh. so that that will now that will make the taste of the food mm-hmm. that's the first move mm-hmm. so it's just the same way in life the first move will depend on how your day it's just like the sauce mm-hmm. the sauce yeah, it's a, it a set standard it's a set mood uh-huh. it's a set mood itakuaje siku itakuaje mm-hmm. because like when you wake up you know it's hard it's very hard to do what you don't know Mm. Like you just wake up, you don't you don't have any agenda. You just wake up, uh-huh. the day will be hard. You the day will be hard. Yeah. So, so uh, back to Clarkson. I I, I think I think uh, <coughs> uh, it depends on also individual personality because one, uh, uh, you, when you wake up, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know that uh, you should be have the priorities of sets of activities uh, which are supposed to be taken to, uh, out for the day. And um, this one will be determined on on the first footstep that you take. Mm-hmm. So the first action that you will be taking early in the morning will determine. Mm-hmm. You know, no, no, from where I'm coming from, um, it, there, is, it, there is a saying mm-hmm. uh, which goes that uh, how you wake up in the morning will determine how your day will be. Mm-hmm. Yes, a good morning is starts in the morning. A good day starts in the morning. Yes. <laughs> so. Uh, it is upon the person or the individual to determine on how the activities of the day will be. Will be. Yes. So that's why uh, the first thing that you do matters a lot. The first interactions, mm-hmm. the first activity that you do will carry. It, it, it is a series of activities which will be chained one after the other. For example, with me, uh-huh. after having benedictions, I, I go uh take shower that is an obvious thing then have a cup of tea then is when i leave mm-hmm. you're getting it yeah. so as immediately i leave i know as soon as i step in my office i know these are the things that i need to do mm-hmm. you're getting it yeah. so it has been backgrounded on what i had what i did in the morning what you, you get- did in the morning yes. so your morning started well your day yes. is going on yes you, if you start a fine. day on a wrong foot the rest of the, the day, rest of the day is actually is will be, yes okay what do you think about you, you agree with this? Yeah, I agree with him. Uh-huh. Especially that that point uh, when you start your day with a bad foot. In a, in a rebika, yeah. So, you know, people some you, you might wake up in the morning and uh, you brush shoulders with someone. Of course. So, ni hadhali unyamaze, unave how Ram was saying, you know, so zingine you prefer your silence some people prefer that let, let me yeah. give you another example uh, for I'm a married man mm-hmm. I'll assume that I, uh, much, uh, as soon as you wake up then you have a couple of uh, misunderstanding or a quarrel with um, your partner then obviously you will have a bad day when you get into the office for those who are, of us who are holding the offices mm-hmm. uh, the first person who will come in your offices huh? mm-hmm. you will at least you will try to pour out the anger you're getting it uh, yes that is obvious because you are from your house you had a bad woman in the beginning with a then, bad woman. yes <laughs> okay so, so automatically grew- anybody who comes across on your way throughout the day mm-hmm. will either in one way or the other experience a dose of okay. your anger all right so ian yeah. t- turn back to you so would you say that ni afadhali basi mtu anze morning yake in silence bila kusumbuliwa so that you make sure you keep it intact yeah. somewhere yeah F- physically i have experienced because Clarkson is a teacher you know there there when i was back in high school mm-hmm. teachers will just wake up one day they are moodless so they come pour out pour out their stress on you you don't know you mean they just pour out your stress on you mm-hmm. you've done nothing mm-hmm. so i think that way uh-huh. waking up to bad 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 day it starts in the morning. It starts in the morning. Yeah. So Clark, so what uh, do you yes. say about this? You know, being a teacher. Yes. Well, umeamka, umetoka, you know, maybe you've had a quarrel with your wife. Mm-hmm. You're meeting your pupils. You know, you know, uh, teachers are not uh, isolated cases of uh-huh. um, personalities. And uh, they are all human being. Eh? Mm-hmm. In one way or the other, we do have our side uh, falls uh-huh. uh, getting. But now what matters is how you carry out. You may get yourself in such circumstances, but how do you carry yourself? Because one, the person that you are, uh, you are uh, pouring the anger to did not commit any crime, had no any effect over what happened. Uh-huh. That is unfortunate. 
it is unfortunate. Yes. So you sh shouldn't power out. Yes. So, okay, now the question I'm asking yes. you guys. Do you think, you know, people who wake up in silence, you know, otaki kelele, is it okay? Should that be, you know, a morning routine for someone? Is that a healthy morning routine? We are in, um, we are social human beings. And uh, I don't uh, subscribe to such um, a kind of uh, thought. Because one, uh, you can't just wake up, then you just decide just, that you are just isolating yourself, that mm -hmm. you don't want to interact with anyone. That mm -hmm. is not yeah. good because we have to. You have to. We have to socialize. We mm -hmm. have to interact. Okay. As much as we are interacting, there must be bounds. Okay. Yes. But it's not like uh, this person is not a social person. It's yes. just I'm not a morning person. You yes. know, some people say I'm not a morning person. They want their space. You mm -hmm. know, they want to uh, meditate. They want. They just want their space. Yes. So is that bad, really? Yeah, what do you think of this? Actually, I, I, I tend not to believe people who wake up in silence. Uh -huh. Because actually, you know, burning, burning inside in silence is the, the, probably the, the worst devil. <laughs> but in here, Pana, I am still disagreeing because you're not burning in silence. Okay, you know, it's just you, know, you. It's just how you want to be. And then after maybe you're ready, you're prepared, after maybe two hours in, Ukosawa umneza chaka chaka na mtu lakini ya subuki ya mka, umatika tu space yako. Yeah. Oh, you, you, know, you know, such people are there within our society. Uh, mm -hmm. We do normally interact with them. You get, uh, maybe you, you go to these uh, public offices, you mm -hmm. get or you bang in an office. Uh, someone is moodless. Mm -hmm. You have gone there to get service. It is morning, 8 in the morning. <laughs> and someone has just flown. You had nothing to what is happening to her or him. You're mm, getting it. Yeah. But, you know, this thing is now coming on your way. Now, how, how do you do? How do you do? Yes, because one, the person is committing something mm -hmm. which should not be there. Okay. Because, you know, as much as you are frowning, you want to have your own space. Yes, you can go ahead and have your space. Mm -hmm. But it should not deter or it should not create a boundary between you and others. Okay, so if you, you are in a social space, yes. you say that you learn to interact yes. with people, you, yes. you know how to, you know, balance yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but come on, in the morning, you can choose to have your silent time. Mm, okay, uh, that is also because I've also seen some kind of families that you get into their houses, they're just quiet. They are quiet in the morning. They are quiet. In fact, they are much comfortable. They don't see something is wrong. Someone has come in the house. It is okay with them. But it is a sin or it is uh, something which is not morally acceptable because how comes i come in your house uh you have just say hi hi okay where are you okay i'm from this and this blah blah, blah. all those uh -huh. then the end of the story okay it is not a good scene <laughs> yeah and you no. want to say something about yeah. that before i go to the comment yeah i want to disagree with the klaxon mm -hmm. because you know actually that this group of people who tend to come to your house early in the morning very right after nini very, early in the morning very early in the morning even before you plan your day, you, you've not yet meditated, mm -hmm. checked your emails, plan your to-do list or so. Mm -hmm. They've just woken up, come to sit on your house. Why? <laughs> More, uh, actually, the, mostly, you'll find them back at homes, uh, uh, rural areas, mm -hmm. because they come just to, to idle, maybe... To chill. To chill. <laughs> they, want, mm -hmm. they want at the end of the day... I'm going to breakfast, yeah. you come, you yeah. know. So people should stop such habits. But, well, yeah. see, I'm but, but anyway, yeah. the, the bottom line is, huh? uh -huh. uh, as much as you are, you are entitled to your right, yeah. that is yours. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much as you are doing it, uh, mm -hmm. it should not create a conflict between you and others. Okay. Are you getting it? That is the bottom line. So, so yes. we, get, we get your point. So let's check wh what... Uh, Guys are saying, uh, you know, in the socials, we have Eliza Steve saying, uh, yawning, sit ups, Thanksgiving. E to Leona earlier in the morning. Well, E uh, oiko We have, uh -huh. we have Fadili. Athumani say we always pray when we wake up, we give glory to God. We, and I agree with Claxon, of course, waking up with God and you know setting your day. Uh, King Super. Super mind Simba and Sama thank God. Kama si yeye haunge amka. Okay. Just okay. He says immediately, napiga blanketi na kutoka kwa kitanda. 
<laughs> kuna wale wanaruka kwa kwa kutoka kwa bed wewe umesoma making bed yeah, yeah. kuna wale <laughs> kutoka kwa bed hiyo bed itajipanga later on uh, gazman anasema backup hmm. <laughs> in the morning okay haya uh, we have antonio music head anasema na washa wufa ya sayona volume yote na cheza mangoma ziko na joto na msha majirani masaya za kuteseka imefika. Hao ni wale wa kusumbua watu. <laughs> Antonio kwa mpole. Kijana mama anasema to switch on my data to see what is new on social media. Okay so but to uh, what uh, kijana is saying kuna watu wanamkaga na social media in yeah. the morning. Yeah. Is it a healthy habit to have you know in relation to habits of the successful? Uh, no actually I tend to think not mm-hmm. because when you just wake up turn on your data or your wifi start uh, checking whatsapp messages mm-hmm. actually that that will waste most of your time in the morning because i tend to think you should wake up maybe check your emails what you are supposed to do on that, during that day mm-hmm. than than just waking up to to you know when you you you, you log into whatsapp you'll mm-hmm. not spend some few minutes or so messages will start streaming in is it here <coughs> so at the end you'll just yeah tend even when you you had a, an appointment maybe at 8am mm-hmm. you find out that it, it has reached 8am you are not yet planned yeah then you just be confused actually yes we ha- actually had someone in a potential comment he says anaangianga facebook akona asema tumsaidie na shida for one I, I, I think, around I, one hour i, I think um uh, uh coming or getting to social media in the morning hours depends on how you have um program yourself for example in my case uh, as soon as i wake up in the morning after having that uh, benediction the prayer with the almighty god uh, mm-hmm. then i rush to bathroom to take shower then after which i come and take uh, the breakfast then i leave immediately so i don't have that time mm-hmm. then if i will have to do it at the workplace at the workplace so yes. social media na kupata mbele yeah, exactly. don't wake up with it yes so <laughs> i do uh, i don't uh, disagree with her it also uh, it only depend on um, the kind of the schedule of activities that you have mm-hmm. you know you have uh, people who are uh, reporting at job at at uh, 10 mm-hmm. so it depend so But if you are looking, reporting uh-huh. uh, for example within my case by 7 i have to be you have to be early yes i am you in workplace at 7 at 7 yes. so you have limited time of course Okay so do you think kwa wale wanamka na you know social media msema watu anza na emails yeah. <laughs> important things first lakini like, kuna wale watu career yao ni social media yes no problem in such a circumstances that is what he do mm. what he does but uh it, it will now force him you know uh the social media will um predetermine what cause of action is going to take the first activity because mm-hmm. there is a certain item which is there he needs to work on it Mm-hmm. you getting it yeah. so that is what is going to determine so that's why you are saying um for someone to be successful mm-hmm. the first thing uh after you have have uh this on my case after you have have uh, that benediction then you need now to have the goals throughout the day now what do i have to do mm-hmm. how will i achieve them and how will they be done you go as you see okay. yes so you yeah. wake up you do your prayers and then you yes. have your goals yes. what you want to achieve yes. uh, during the day yeah. back to you Ian. uh for someone who you know who's into social media a lot there, is this a bad you know habit for a person who wants to attain success actually it will hinder you from attaining your success because when you get in you will start now pro- procrastinating mm-hmm. your, your 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 daily routine Mm-hmm. you procrastinate your issues issues and actually you know procrastination is a thief of success mm-hmm. so actually you will not be successful obviously so, because you will start procrastinating i'll do it this later because you want to see more on your social media mm-hmm. you want to stream more you watch more mm-hmm. you know, okay no, can I, <coughs> let yes, me ask you okay. another question so you have talked about setting goals so yes. should one set goal io siku yo that morning or should one set their goals for the next day the previous night so that i wake up i leave my morning stress free i know what i already want to do so like that night your evening naandika vitu nataka to achieve i have to do this i have to do this so i have my to do list so is you know which way is better uh, so it depends on um, the jurisdictions of one who is uh, each person of area of specialization one eh? uh we have uh, in my case uh, we are i have uh, what to achieve on a, a weekly basis mm-hmm. on a daily basis you see mm-hmm. so so uh 
as soon as I wake up, I know, okay, this week, this is what I have to do. So it has been subdivided into daily activities. So I simply know today, this is what is going to happen. You see? Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm saying it depends on what you are doing. It will determine on how you are going to set up your goals. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it depends on what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. But, yeah. but before, let's say you wake up, you know, first you must uh, have uh, considered that probably you should have enough rest the previous night so mm-hmm. that uh, when you wake up in the